7. Dr. Harvard, good afternoon and welcome to the show. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, I'm so happy to uh, add your show. Thank you, so much for, thank you so much for making time for us. Let's start off here. Um, when you were sworn in earlier on this week, what did that moment represent for you? Oh, so n- n- because I even like uh, everyone right now, they argue, even like my face, like uh, Chinese face, but I'm a South African. I just uh, on behalf of my community and uh, all my um, branchy ANCs, I'm the ANC comrades. Mm-hmm. So you, 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 you are an ANC comrade, but I want to know about that particular moment um, when you pledged allegiance to the Constitution and you pledged allegiance to South Africans and to the country. What did that moment mean for you personally? No, that means um, I, um, I, I just uh, want to serve to my country, South Africa. That is my, um, my dedicated uh, purpose. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so tell us about um, your history in politics as well when you came to South Africa and then we'll get into the other conversations about what was happening on social media but starting off with your career in politics and when you when you came to to the country. Oh, when I came to the country, that is uh, uh, in 1994, I received a, a PhD doctor degree in computer science offer from Rwanda African University. Uh, right now, that is UJ. My purpose is to finish the study and then find a nice job. My dream is American dream. After I married a South African, my dream changed to South African <laughs> dream. <laughs> so you moved from the American dream to the South African dream? Yes, at that time, America is the number one country in the world. That's why everyone dreaming is American. But I love South Africa. I married here. That's why South Africa is my home, is my destination. I give up Chinese citizenship. That's why I need to serve to my country. I need a South Africa grow very quickly. Okay, so 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 you no longer so you don't hold a dual citizenship. No, no, no. The China they don't allow. Oh, they don't you allow. have to yes, don't allow. In China, I haven't got a relative, only one brother. All my family in South Africa. Mm-hmm. That's why South Africa is my home. I have nowhere to go. Oh. This is my country, yes. Okay, so you joined the ANC back in 2004. Why the ANC? No, ANC. The, just the basic thing, the ANC on behalf of majority people. That's why I have a lot of community work. Uh, I also originally coming from a rural area. I have a, a terrible uh, childhood. I know how the ground people, they are suffer. That's why I, after I saw this one, our South African have a natural resource. We shouldn't do like this. If we have some um, uh, tangible and uh, um, feasible, feasible and strategic planning work with the ground, our people will change, uh, change the, get rid of poverty in one or two years very quickly. We shouldn't do like this. That's why my ambitious work with the local community and get some, uh, some strategic planning, help them, and then quickly change our ground people. That's why I joined the ANCs. Even majority people, their life will be changed. The country will move very fast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what is it that you would say that you brought to the body politics of the ANC? Body politics, because I, I love, I work with our ground people, too many branches in nine provinces, many branches. I travel in a lot. I know what is our uh, people's expectation, where uh, to, how to change their life. That is why no matter small business, corporate or others, I, I know uh, I, I have the solution for them. That is why I said, uh, let me come to ANCs and then on behalf of all the people. Mm-hmm. So when you speak, you speak of, of, of our people. Um, and you may have seen on social media this week um, that people don't actually recognize you as, well, there are some people who don't recognize you as being a part of them. They don't recognize you as a South African because um, of being of Chinese descent. When you saw those um, hashtags doing the rounds, what was going through your mind? No, that one, I think uh, uh, um, that is normal. And, um, I never feel uh, disappointed. Uh, not everyone know me, but uh, that is a good chance uh, uh, from this argue 
different uh, debitor, a different platform, they will know me more. more. Mm-hmm. Then I accepted this fa- uh, fact. Uh, in politics, uh, I'm new. That's why I uh, need the time to let the people know me. Yeah. Okay, so g- give the people time to know you. Um, yes. Tell us about um, the branch, the ANC branch that you are in. Um, where is that? My branch is in um, Johannesburg, Linden branch. That's Ward 99, Abertina, Sisulu. Yeah. Okay, and and when when you when you joined that branch, um, did you did you face any pushback during that time when you? F- yes, when I joined that branch, uh, 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 that time I because uh, my uh, residential place is in that branch, my professor also in that branch. That's why automatically is some comrades introduced me there. I love that branch. I see Abertina Sisulu is a good name. That's why I see there 